I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News Headlines. Maryland's newest vaccination center has opened its doors, did so on Friday. It's over at the Columbia Mall. You'll remember it as the Lord and Taylor. That's where the Lord and Taylor used to be. The site held its soft opening with a lot of people coming and going, getting their shots. The county's health officer says that the site will only use Pfizer doses, which is the only vaccine approved for 16 and 17 year olds. Howard County's executive expects to see a high turnout every day that the center is open since it's roughly halfway between D.C. and Baltimore. The center's normal hours will be from 8 to 4 Wednesday through Sunday. And a vaccine equity task force vaccination clinic opened Friday at Morgan State University Student Center. The site plans to offer up about 390 doses of the Pfizer vaccine per day during the weekends. The vaccines are open to everybody. Appointments are required. You can schedule an appointment online, over the phone, or by walking in to register. Free parking is available right there in the Morgan Commons garage. And unemployment insurance claimants can now get their benefits through direct deposit. All you have to do is log onto your Beacon 2.0 portal or mobile app and select how you'd like to get paid. The state just began a new contract with Wells Fargo moving on from Bank of America's debit cards. Claimants can expect emails throughout the transition reminding them of deadlines and actions that they need to take, in addition to seeing a pop-up each time they log into their portal. And to prevent any disruption in benefit payments, you're encouraged to choose a payment method as soon as you can. High pressure bringing sunshine for the weekend. Heading into the day tomorrow will be a little chilly. We're talking upper 40s, but we're getting milder as we head into the afternoon. And we're talking seasonal temperatures, not the 80s and flirting with 90 like before. Getting into the upper 60s, near 70 degrees across most of the state. The warmer numbers, though, they make a swift return by Sunday. Temps warming into the lower 80s. Looking at a slight chance of a sprinkle on Monday. Better chance of showers for Tuesday into Wednesday. Temperatures falling behind that cold front down to 67 by Friday. All right. Thank you, Patrick. Click with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also, for news and weather while you're on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.